All right, y'all, what's poppin'? Welcome back to the Power Stroke Rick channel. I know it's been a minute. I'm sure y'all been missing me with my antics over here. And a uh, little update from the last video. We went to the truck meet. 10 hours later, uh, I sold my wheels and tires off the blue truck. So now she is stock. And uh, since I already tore it down so much, I couldn't help myself but to tear it down even more. So I'm trying to paint match everything I can possible. So bed rails, tailgate rail, um, come over here to the interior. I did all the switches. Come over here. All these guys are out. Radio bezel. I mean, I got all this stuff over here. So basically, I decided to color match everything. Um, wiper cowl up front, including the wiper arms. Maybe, maybe not. So that's what's going down. So we're going to have a series of videos here. And I think this video is going to be putting all my paint match stuff back on, putting a new stereo in because I want Apple CarPlay because I'm bougie like that. And uh, yeah, what I am also doing, I will show you here in a minute, is I am lifting the blue truck more. New wheels and tires are on order as we speak. And we're gonna be sitting about eight and three quarter in the front and a little over seven in the rear, which right now we're six in the rear and we're about seven in the front, but she got a little super duty lean issue that we're gonna address here. So. Also, I'm going to be taking the bed off to do the leaf springs in the rear, long travel leaves, which you do not have to take the bed off, but I just want to take it off and clean everything up so and make it easier. Um, yeah, I'm rambling at this point, so I'm just going to start showing you guys shit. And uh, yeah, it's like a sore dick. Can't beat it. Hit that subscribe button. You already know. All right, guys, so here is for my weekend festivities. So here's the paint match blanket. Here is the suspension palette. So right off the rip with you guys, we got new Pioneer doubled in with Apple CarPlay. And this same unit, but three years older, is already in the truck. But I just want CarPlay, and mine doesn't have it. So we're going to have CarPlay. So since we have all this torn out, we're going to put a new stereo in, obviously, since we're there. So... The quick overview of all the paint match is all my, like I showed you guys, all my door switches, um, my front emblem, my vents, my wipers, gotta have that washer fluid cap, got to, uh, antenna, stereo, bezel thing, whatever you call it, um, wiper cowl, bed rails. So basically I am just doing everything blue that I can. So if you guys have any other <coughs> suggestions on what else I could do, let me know because I'm trying to go full blue jean blue. I might try to get blue window tint next. I don't know. But so anyway, that's this right here. In another video, you're going to see all of this, which PMF or Icon 7-inch coils, powder coated alien silver, PMF long travel leaf springs. These are for like a 7-inch lift with no block. Um, I got new Bilstein 5160s. I have all the brackets for the long travel leafs, all powder coat alien silver. I have the U-bolts there. Uh, these are the inch and a half spacers for the front. Uh, some sway bar drop brackets in here, some isolators, extended brake lines. We're gonna do a video about that. And uh, yeah, guys, so this is for another video, but you'll see it all eventually. So this is what we're operating with today. Uh, also, picked us up one of these mini ductors venom for cab mounts we will be doing here in the near future i'm excited to use this thing i think i'm going to use it for my bed bolts yeah and also if you're taking the bed bolts off you got your torx t50 that fits a little loose snap-on offers this t50 plus which it's a little bit different of a design than a normal torx t50 so pick you up one of these where our plan is to apply some heat to them and the truck is not rusty. I mean, it's not too rusty, but hopefully they'll come out. So, yep, we're just going to start showing you shit. All 
right, y'all. So what you just saw, we're about to get in on here. What do you guys think? Color match, paint to match, wiper cowl with paint to match wiper arms, question mark, and the bold antenna. What do you guys think? Truck's a little dirty, so don't mind that, but I think it looks pretty sharp. I got to put my emblem back in. Probably should have did that already. Let's see if I can open this. Oh, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. I like it. Washer tank cap. I like it. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Play a sore dick? Yay, nay, maybe not. I don't know. Keep on trucking. All right, guys, that's it. Emblem, paint to match. It's not too far off from the Ford Blue itself, but it's got to get the little touches like that finally. And front's done. We're gonna, I got old Mike over here working on getting the bed off. We're gonna take her off to do the, the lift. That's for another thing, but yeah, we will show you some more color mats here soon. Guys, so pretty much what's going on here is I got Mike underneath taking some of the harness off um, for all the lights and stuff like that. We're taking the bed off. I'm putting the new bed rails on, paint matched. Right here, I'm putting the tailgate rail on. And for whatever reason, this was the hardest one. I don't know why, but yeah, we're getting ready for liftoff. So guys, taking out all eight bed bolts, I thought I was filming, I wasn't. I caught the tail end right here. Six out of the eight came out fine. Using the heat induction tool, uh, both the head stripped on these two that you see me taking out right now. I did not feel like getting the welder out. So vice grips and drilling an 11 30 second hole, as I say in this next clip. So like a sore dick, can't beat it. So guys, I don't know if I filmed much of it on the video on the time lapse, but what you just saw is taking the bed bolts off, tail lights, uh, the hooks for the gooseneck, which I do not use, which I might sell. Um, and the reason I'm taking this bed off is I want to clean up underneath really good. And uh, you don't need to do this to do the leaf and the shackle kit, but back in here, them rivets, I, I, just for me, I think it'll be easier to stand right here and knock them rivets off rather than have this whole bed in my way. So. Like I said, again, I want to clean all this shit up. So I did use the new Venom heat induction tool and I was good with about six out of eight bolts. And then this one stripped a little bit and then that one back there stripped. And I didn't feel like I'm hooking the batteries to weld anything. So we were able to get this one off with more heat and some vice grips. That one back there, we had to use uh, one of like the bolt biter tools, um, drill 11 30 seconds hole and then we were able to twist it out. So, I mean, here's the bolts, not too bad. It's a, it was a southern truck, but it's been in Ohio for some years now, but I parked it in the wintertime, so it ain't too rusty under here, but yeah. Man, this thing is uh, for sale, not on sale, boys. What the fuck am I up to now? <laughs> 